The retirement of Usain Bolt in 2017 had huge implications on the world of sprinting, none bigger than the fact the event needed a brand new face, someone who could keep or build on the momentum of the Bolt era. And as expected numerous men tried their best to get themselves in a position of being the leader of this post-Bolt regime. They were all legitimate, guys like Andre de Grasse, Jarnel Hughes, Ronnie Baker and others. Nevertheless it eventually boiled down to two men, Noah Lyles and Christian Coleman. Since the start of this new era, they have managed to maintain the fans' interest in the sport with some super performances, putting themselves far out of reach of all the other competitors, as well as producing times to be considered alongside all-time greats of the sport. However, in an individual sport like athletics, there is only space for one at the very top in a respective category. And since both of these men seem closely matched in every regard, we will be trying to find out who is the current king of sprinting. It is not the first time that athletics is in this dilemma, it is more common to have two or in some cases three athletes, dominating the three main sprint events. However to decide who was the main man on top of the sprinting world was usually easier, but in this case where we have both men having a similar amount of accomplishments, it is much more difficult. This is somewhat similar to the situation in 1968, where three separate men broke the world records of the three main sprint events at the 1968 Games. Christian Coleman is certainly the man many including analysts and former athletes are pushing to take up the mantle, and he certainly hasn't disappointed anyone who has put their belief in him as yet. Winning the most recent world championships, to wrong the mistakes he made in 2017 when he only got silver after being in a pole position for gold. Since then he has continued to look even more dangerous each and every time he graced the track, as was seen when he ran the world record in the 60 meters in 2018, and then in 2020, running the world-leading 60-meter time, equaling the second-fastest time in history at the USA Indoor Championships. The main reason he looks as the guy fitting is the fact that he was the one who ended Bolt's 45-race win streak at the World Championship, stealing the shine from Bolt at the 2017 World Championship. The last guy ever to steal Bolt's show at a World Championship was Johan Blake through Bolt's false start, and he went on to become the second fastest man in history and the first man to be seen as Bolt's successor. Defeating Bolt is a feat that eludes Noah Lyles, however that takes nothing from his claim as the new face of sprinting. Fans are immediately drawn to Lyles' showboating and fun persona, which somewhat resembles that of Bolt's. Not to mention his consistent high-quality performances on the Diamond League circuit, which has him amongst the likes of Asafa Powell, Shawnee Miller Ubo, among others, due to his level of consistent high performances. He is also a world champion like Coleman and the world record holder for the indoor 300 meters. All reasons why he is one of the main men in sprinting today. While it would be possible to list all the reason why each man deserves to be the new face of sprinting and giving a biased pick, the main thing that matters is the fact that we are just at the start of their era, therefore that accolade is currently shared by both men. So either Lyles or Coleman has to take the initiative to create a strong legacy for themselves by going for feats that not much or anyone has ever done. This does not simply mean going for world records. What it means is that they need to try and improve their weaknesses. Lyles should focus on improving his starts and acceleration to do the sprint double and Coleman his finishing speed to also do the double. With that the world can see the world's best sprinters go head to head over both events at major championships to really decide which of the two is truly on top of the world of sprinting.